Hey guys, and I know it's been so long since I've done one of these videos, but I thought for this week I'd bring you guys an update on where the next jailbreak is as of today, Friday, January 29th of 2016. And with that being said, let's get straight into this video. Alright, so I'm not sure where exactly how far I need to start back, but I'm going to jump around with big and small events that came to where we stand today. So let's just start off with something simple. From this post, we are told and see that 3K, one of Taiji's pirated repo apps that installs with the jailbreak unless unchecked, that on their website there is in fact a tutorial on how to jailbreak iOS 9.2. This is in fact most likely a placeholder so when the jailbreak is in fact released then the tutorial with links and such most likely will be on the page. The next event that occurs is about 13 days later, excuse my math and simple addition and subtraction of dates, but the jailbreak community has been quiet about news and such for the next jailbreak. Luca Tedesco as always teases the community and releases this message saying that there is some type of bug that is in patch at the time on the new iOS 9.2.1 and 9.3 betas. And he would in fact share it with the community if it wasn't patched in 9.2, assuming he did not test it on this particular iOS version yet. And of course as Apple always does, which pushes the release of a jailbreak further than what the community would like, iOS 9.3 beta is released. What are the odds coming to the next jailbreak and bam, another update causing Taiji or Pengu to work extra harder to solve the issue for the next jailbreak. And it's been really quiet for Taiji and Pangu, which is expected since if they release any bug or news to the community, then there's a potential patch for Apple to fix it in the next beta updates. Who knows, maybe a software designer for Apple is quietly stalking the jailbreak community. On a side note, several days later, Tedesco also mentions that iOS 9.2 compared to iOS 9.1 is a lot more difficult to jailbreak. And from this, we can conclude that if you are on iOS 9.1, stay there and do not update. With jailbreak news like this, with this being said, Luca Tedesco was also able to achieve a jailbreak on iOS 9.2 with this video proof he gives, but as always, he won't plan on releasing it. So when is the next jailbreak coming? According to this analysis post, in summary, iOS 9.3 will probably be in beta for about 6-10 to 10 weeks, and if any bug or exploit is not patched within iOS 9.3, then we would have to wait even longer till the next jailbreak. And if you guys want to check out this article, link is also in the description below. But with all these events happening, we are now currently where everyone is anticipating the next news towards the jailbreak. No new news has been released or jailbreak. But on a side note, not jailbreak related, let's take a look at iOS 9.3's future. Looking at Apple websites, as you can see right now, we see that there is a big feature that looks very similar to f.lux or flux. And tested by some beta testers, we now know that the new flux capability is only available on 64-bit devices, which excludes 32-bit devices, which include the iPhone 4S, 5, and 5C. So that pretty much sums up all the major events that are occurring within the jailbreak community as of today. So feel free to join the community of jailbreakers by hitting that like button below this video as well as subscribe to my channel for latest jailbreak related content. Please in fact also follow me on my Twitter page at EliteAppleHacks in order to get news faster than my videos because I tweet out any new jailbreak related content there before I make my videos. And if I missed any other event go ahead and leave it in the comments below to allow others to read what it is as well. So I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Elite Apple Hacks, signing out.